Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel or to the channel, whatever. Uh, today, um, I'm going to go ahead and do just a quick walk around of my 2019 uh, Polaris Sportsman 450. It's either 2018 or 19. So, Polaris Sportsman 450. Um, I bought it brand new. So, actually, this would have been a 19. Uh, I bought it brand new a couple months ago. And figured I'd do a quick walk around of it just to just show it off. Um, why did I go with Polaris? I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, you know, Honda over Polaris or Polaris over Honda or Can Am, whatever. Um, honestly, I went with Polaris for several reasons. One, and I don't know if Can Am offers it, but I know Honda doesn't. <sighs> is this front storage that to me is fantastic uh, as you can see i've got a couple couple bungee cords in there for this front rack and i'll go over here and show you this is the polaris front rack um i i liked the way the polaris felt over the other ones I uh, also like the fact that Polaris, and I know the other manufacturers do as well, but Polaris has a lot of military and police contracts, so that was a big selling point for me. Uh, I added the Polaris bumper, as well as a, I doubt y'all will be able to see it, but Polaris winch, Polaris factory winch. You can see the white Polaris right there. If it'll focus, I doubt it will, but... The factory plug and play winch, which was very, very easy to install. Um, I do have a couple gripes about it that I'll go over. Uh, I did get this bag as well, and I'll go over what I have in the bag. And I don't, I don't wash this thing because during the winter time it's wet here, and I go riding through a, through a creek a lot, and it's just and it gets muddy. So I'm not going to wash it every time. It's it's be a waste of time. Um, there's not really too many gripes that I have on it, but one big gripe that I'll show you, and this is just personal stuff. It's nothing wrong with the vehicle at all. Nothing wrong with it. But if you can see the position of my hand, when you're riding, your thumb, or my thumb at least, is pointed way out and that's just not really comfortable so what I find myself doing is sticking my thumb up a little bit higher to where my thumb rests right here instead of right here pointed way out and they they make something to where it's a more of a motorcycle grip where when you turn it it pushes this in uh, I may try that later on just to see I'll go ahead and cut it on so players pops up and I just kind of drove it over to this spot and right right now it's 108 degrees yeah the check engine lights on because it's not running um, service in 4.2 hours I've put 91 miles on this thing so far it's done very good, very well, I should say. Um, another gripe that I have is right here, the shifter. The shifter sucks. I understand why they did it, but the shifter sucks. Um, if you're sitting a little bit farther forward like this, and you go to put it in drop and put it in park, your shifter can hit your knee. Or if you have longer legs, that shifter can hit your knee. When you slam when you pull it down to put it in park i've done that a couple times and it's very very annoying but that's a gripe i can deal with other than that there's really not a whole lot else that i don't like about this uh, it's a fantastic ride handles bumps great uh, i actually helped a neighbor of mine out 
and uh, I was helping him work on his Ford Mustang, his older, a little bit older Ford Mustang. And we needed to get it in his driveway, so I pulled it with this. And the ATV did not struggle at all. And I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, you know, you know, it's a belt-driven vehicle. And I, don't know if, I don't know if I'll be able to get a good shot of it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get a good shot of it, but it's got a drive belt instead of an actual drive shaft. And, yeah, there's, I, I was an idiot and backed into a tree kind of hard and broke that off, but it's plastic, it's whatever. Um, but here's what the guy that I bought the, bought the ATV from told me. And, like I said, I bought it new. They built it for me the day before I bought it. And I bought it, I bought it Rockingham, South Carolina. Uh, I live in North Carolina, so I drove an hour and a half to go get it. And it's a great place to go deal with. But, um... The guy that was telling me about it said, as long as you keep it in low range, you know, when you're doing your normal trail riding, essentially under 15 miles an hour, and you do all your heavy, heavy hauling, or, you know, your towing in low gear, or any of your, you know, steep hill climbs or stuff like that, or if you're going to work in your yard, just keep it in low range. And that's what I do. I put it in high, maybe... I've driven maybe two or three miles out of the 90 something, the 91 miles I have on here. Two or three, maybe four miles max in high range. Because, I mean, it, it cruises at 15, 16 miles an hour in low range, no problem. And the 570s will do even more. So, that whole thing about, you know, oh, it's a belt driven vehicle and the belts are garbage. It's only garbage when you abuse it and do what you're not supposed to do with it. So, but I will go over some of the contents of what I have in the bag here real quick. Um, right here, I have a entrenching tool. Um, I didn't go with a collapsible one, and this is an actual military entrenching tool. I did not go with a collapsible one because if I needed to use it, having a handle on it like this would be a lot nicer. And I've got the bag to store it. Uh, I got a machete, and I've actually got a cheap husky saw, hand saw. And actually, that works pretty well. I bought it at Home Depot for like less than ten dollars. Uh, that's all I've got in here as of right now. Uh, I will put more in there later. I'll go ahead and show you. And I did bend this right here when I rear ended the tree. Um, I did bend this a little bit, but I don't really care. Doesn't matter. Uh, that box went last. So I do have a, a little snatch strap, uh, or what they call it, a tree saver. And then I do ha have up in here a military 5,000 pound strap. See right there, 5,000 pound capacity. And going around here, this is a moose bag. Uh, you got a little cup holder right here. It's not really great because when you're driving mud, as you can see, there's a little bit of mud on there. Mud slings up on there, so it's not really that great, but it is what it is. And if I find the zipper, right here, I've got a grumpy old man hat very warm and it's a cheap one but it works great uh i've got a little pony hat i've had for years and it's got a little bit of, it's got mesh up in here so that works fantastic i've got a pair of warm weather gloves i've got a mosquito net that goes over the boonie hat and I've actually got a second one just in case uh, somebody, I come across somebody or a friend of mine that doesn't have one. I've got a little mess kit in here. Uh, I've got some first aid stuff. Always have first aid stuff when you're riding. A little basic first aid kit. And like I said, second. Um, this is a pair of goggles. Uh, this is a poncho. You know, a lot of people don't think about having rain gear. 
just in case they get stuck out somewhere. And also do have a pair of scissors. So we're going to throw all this back in here real quick. And as you can see, I've got room for more stuff. And I will be putting more in there eventually. And like on this side, there's another bottle, bottle holder. Um, and th these bags get very dirty, but it is what it is. All right, open that up. I do have a, if I can get it out, a Marpat poncho, not poncho, but a tarp. A um, couple sets of hand warmers. It's very hard to see, but I've got some gloves in here. Uh, i got some markers, a um, bunch of zip ties, and 550 cord. So I know it's a little dark right now. The sun is going down very quickly. So I'm going to end this video here in just a second. But this is all stuff that you never know when you'll, you know, if you get stranded or stuck somewhere, you know, if you'll need it. Especially, you know, rain gear. Your ATV breaks down or if it starts pouring rain when you're riding. Oh, and this does have a little flip-up seat. It doesn't really work, work that great, but, you know, not horrible, but not great. But if you get stuck out somewhere and... Sorry, I was looking at something. Um, if you get, if you're out riding and, you know, it starts pouring rain and you don't want to wait in the rain anymore or some, or if it starts snowing something like that you can pop out that tarp that marpat tarp and use the uh, 550 cord and zip ties and you can cover yourself up same thing and you know use the poncho while you're doing that or something so it's always best to have spare stuff with you just in case and of course you know you need to dress for how you ride everybody knows that um but it's nice having some spare stuff, especially if it's raining or something like that and you're starting to get wet or starting to get cold or something like that. You can change out, you know, change your poncho out, throw a second poncho on or something. Um, but with that said, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and do a quick start up. And one thing is this does have a, a key, like a, a ignition, like a standard car. So this is the key, you stick it in turn it on and it does rebound like a normal car now it will not start unless the parking brake is engaged so i'm gonna go ahead and lock it in since i'm holding my phone so it does lock in right there and i'll go ahead and start it starts right up no problem and as it should so but with that said i'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here since it's getting you know dark outside there's the lights, low beam, high beam. Uh, and they do make a kit that turns both of them on at the same time. But with that said, I'll go ahead and start the video here. Y'all have a great day, and I'll talk to y'all later.